I posted to Twitter asking if I should play some indie horror games for fun. And honestly, that because I didn't. I, <laughs> honestly, at first I was thinking of Slenderman, but uh, I tried to download the game, but apparently the game is like so outdated. <laughs> Um, my computer can't actually run it. Uh, there's probably a super complicated way for me to get to play it, but I am not in the mood to figure that out right now. So, I'll figure that out later. For now, I'm gonna play a horror game that I just, like, saw. <laughs> and it looked kind of spooky. I don't know what it's about. Apparently it's a very short game. Um, and it's just... I don't know. It has something to do with tapes, I think, but I really don't know anything about it. I haven't even opened it up to sort of, like, get an idea of what it's about, so we're really going into this without any info, and that's okay. We got this. Oh. Spinning wheel of death. Yay! Hello, Carter, and welcome. We've prepared a very special game for you today, Carter. We call it the Carter Carnival. How about that? We're all very excited for you to play. Now, Carter, time to reveal your grand prize. You managed to make it all the way to the end. How does it sound? Doesn't it sound amazing? Ready to play? Let's visit our first road. Keep recording, Carter. We can see you. Ooh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um. Okay. I didn't know this had to do with clowns. I'm not really afraid of them, but I'm not too hyped about them, you know? Welcome to Room 1, yeah. a classic game of chance. There are two mystery boxes in front of you, and two sets of high-powered hydraulic Damascus steel spears above them. Now, in one of their boxes, there's nothing but a silly box of dummy. And in the other, well, I personally hope that you find that out for yourself. It's Choose a, a box. It's gonna be like my mom drop. or something. Have fun, Carter. My name's not Carter, though, but thank you. I don't know which one to pick. I'm more drawn to this one. Really? Okay. Let me pick it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to pick this one. Oh, did I click F and I just got that? Yeah, I'm dumb. It was nothing. Yeah, see, there is a person that you can hear them. Hello. I almost killed you, but I have amazing intuition, so you get to live. All right, let's go. Hope you're okay. I'm not. This isn't so bad so far. Room oh. two, Carter. You put on a very disappointing performance in the last room. Oh, fuck you. Luckily, this game is a little more likely to give us the show that we want. Three cages are in front of you. Two are made of a very weak metal. And one might just be strong enough. Strong enough for what, you ask? Strong enough to keep out a friend of ours. Or, well, he used to be a friend of ours. Now he's much different. Anyway, it's time to play. Why don't you get in there? Okay, so we have to pick the right cage. Um, this metal one looks janky as fuck, so we're not going in that one. This one, nah, I'm not drawn to the one over here for some reason, so we're gonna go in here. Oh shit. Oh fuck me. Ah! Okay, 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 I didn't see shit. <laughs> I don't like that noise. 
<laughs> Ooh. Yes. Did I win? I won. Oh my god, my intuition is just godlike. Oh, I can stop. <laughs> okay. Anyways. I think I'm winning. I kind of want to play again and see what would happen if I picked all the wrong. Yo. Okay. Hello. Oh, ew. Is he just eating me? Wow, Carter. Room three. We didn't expect you to get this far. Fuck you. So, we want to really impress. How about a little maze? There's just some fun surprises in here. Nothing to worry about. We hope you don't get hurt. Isn't there a rule where it's like, you follow your left, and you're more likely to get out? Let's, let's go with that. Let's, let's do that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's not even that scary. <laughs> okay, I don't think I should go. We're gonna follow our right. I'm sorry if the camera's janky. It's kind of hard to move on here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's a turn over here. Oh, but it's in complete darkness, isn't it? <laughs> oh my fucking god! Okay. Did I make it out? That was it? Oh, oh, okay. It's not even that scary. I'm just a fucking idiot. Uh, Carter, the last room in our game. I'm so sorry we couldn't keep you here for more fun. Anyway, this game is the simplest yet. The bars around you will raise. You just have to walk to whichever exit you like. They all lead out, I promise. Maybe we'll be back at your house later. No, you've been a great contestant, Carter. Goodbye. Are we gonna raise or not? For some reason, I don't believe him when he says I can leave. You know? I don't want to go down. That can I fucking leave or no? Okay, like you said I can leave. Take it fucking ever. What the fuck do I do now? Literally like nothing. He said that the fence is gonna raise. It has. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I feel like going this way. <laughs> Fuck me. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. All right, all right, um, I think I want to play again, but I want to pick, no, I'm, I want to pick all the wrong answers, because, <laughs> you know, why not? Oh, fuck. I'm not going to like that maze. I fucking hate jump scares. I used to not really be affected by them, but I think the amount of time I went without seeing anything with a jump scare just, like, Fuck me up. Hello. Yeah, hello, hello. Let's go. Time to reveal your grand prizes. You managed to make it all the way to the end. How does freedom in a $500 check sound? Doesn't it sound amazing? You know, only $500 for this shit is actually kind of lame. 
Like, at least in Squid Game, whoever fucking won was, like, a millionaire. Or not even that. I think they were even more. Like, I know I'm a college student. I shouldn't be fucking picky. But $500 is, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, a 24th of my tuition? That's about it. I picked that one last time, sir, and you are not happy. Thank you. I will. My name's not good, is it? Alright. What the fuck? Ah, shit. Should I just restart now? The gate one. Alright, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I wanted to see what would happen if I actually killed the person, but... I guess it's... Oh, and I wonder if this one will switch too. Room two, Carter. Oh, shut the fuck up. You okay. How did I get in here? Ah, fuck me. Vibing. Again? Maybe, like, no matter what you choose, you're okay. So I don't actually have good intuition. I'm just playing the game how it's supposed to be played. Which, if that's the case, that kind of sucks. Okay. So, the same thing happens, which is fine. <laughs> um, I think, overall, it's not a bad game. Uh... A little weird, but not horrible, but that's okay. It was so pretty fun. It still scared the shit out of me because I'm a wimp. But, a lot of fun. Um, I kind of want to play more little games like this just because they're interesting. And I, I love indie games because a lot of the people who make them are really creative with what they do. So, if you'd like to see more of this content, let me know. And if there's any indie games that you want to see me play, just tell me what the name of it is and I'll try to see if I can play it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know this is a bit different than from what I normally do, but it was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it.